Film Guy recaps here, don't forget to like and subscribe. The film opens with Eduardo Sr., the Recchi family patriarch. It is his intention to declare his retirement during his birthday celebration. First and second generation textile manufacturers in Milan are the wealthy Recchi family. Tancredi wed Emma, a Russian woman, whom he met and wed right away out of love. Emma is a devoted homemaker who never receives enough recognition for her love and enthusiasm for cooking. Three children, two boys and one girl, have been born to the couple. Eduardo Jr. is the name of their firstborn son, a very attractive young adult. Their daughter, Elisabetta, is a vocal and queer art student. John Luca, their last-born son, is merely used in the movie to set tables. We watch several servants rushing around and getting ready for Eduardo Sr.'s birthday dinner party, which Tancredi and his wife Emma are throwing. The fact that Eduardo Jr.'s friend Antonio defeated him in a horseback riding match on his grandfather's birthday is noted with sadness by the family. After returning from the competition, Eduardo tells his family that he has invited his girlfriend Eva, who is a member of the well-known Ugolini family. Eduardo is in love with Eva, and he intends to wed her shortly. The younger siblings gripe that they are being served uka at a special occasion like this once more when the food is served. Eduardo Jr.'s favorite dish is uka, unlike the others. Emma has been making him a special soup since she was a young child. Even though Emma has access to the best chefs in the world, she is a homemaker who enjoys preparing meals for her family. While the children are whining, Eduardo Sr. draws everyone's attention by declaring, in an unexpected and regrettable turn of events, that he is transferring the family business to Tancredi, his son, who has worked with him for a long time. Everyone is a little confused because it is a novel occurrence and nobody expected to hear from their patriarch. Elisabetta, who goes to school in London, gives her grandfather a picture she took during the meal. The elderly man is upset by the picture because it goes against the Recchi family custom of giving hand-painted canvases as gifts. But Allegra, his glitzy second wife, lifts his spirits. Eduardo Jr. is surprised by Antonio, the chef who beat him in the horseback riding competition earlier that day, when he comes to visit later during the birthday celebration. Eduardo is touched by Antonio's gift of a gorgeous cake and introduces him to his mother. Unbeknownst to Eduardo, an odd eye contact between Antonio and Emma appears, as though they are about to make love. Emma talks to Antonio about what he does while acting very casual. She becomes even more drawn to Antonio after learning that he assists his father as a chef in the restaurant because she also enjoys cooking. Emma chooses to clean the house herself after the party because she perceives it as messy and untidy. She chooses to go gather dirty laundry from his son's room while running errands. She finds a CD in Eduardo's room that contains a letter from Elisabetta to her brother Eduardo disclosing that Elisabetta is a lesbian. She admits to her brother that she is in love with another woman and that she had an encounter with a woman. Emma doesn't bring up the matter with her husband, even though she is initially shocked, suggesting that she isn't critical of romantic relationships. Antonio, a friend of little Eduardo's who assists his father in their family restaurant, is seen with him. Eduardo talks about the plans for his beloved Eva's birthday celebration, which he is throwing at his house. The exciting news that Eduardo will be proposing to Eva is also revealed. He will therefore require extra help from his friend Antonio. The two intend to open a restaurant together on a piece of land that Eduardo's father owns in San Remo because Eduardo has all the property in the world and Antonio is skilled. Antonio visits Emma that evening, assists her in the kitchen, and plans a magnificent feast. Despite feeling a little uneasy about Emma and Antonio's proximity to one another, Eduardo decides to overlook it. Emma stays away from the birthday celebration in order to give her kids their space. She also spends the night with her husband Tancredi where she learns that he intends to lay off employees in order to increase profits. Against the wishes of the idealistic Eduardo, Tancredi wants to sell the company to a brazen Indian-slash-American businessman after his father passes away. Tancredi does not value his son's contribution to the will and views him as a threat. A few months later, Eva, Eduardo's girlfriend, and Allegra join Emma for lunch with her family. While working, Antonio assisted his father in managing their family restaurant. Antonio makes a very special prawn meal after learning that Emma and her family have arrived. Emma gets excited when she tastes the prawn for the first time. She runs out of things to say to praise Antonio first, but before she leaves, she gives him a special thank you in private and remarks on his hand's taste. Elisabetta returns to Milan sporting a short hairstyle. She shows Emma the photo of the girl she likes and is in a relationship with, as well as admitting to Emma that she is gay. To find a location for her art exhibition, she extends an invitation to her mother to travel to Nice with her. Emma is thinking about Antonio and his happy face all the time while she is speaking to her daughter. Emma begins to experience stomach butterflies. On her way to Nice to surprise Elisabetta at her art exhibition, Emma makes a stop in San Remo and notices Antonio walking by. 
Unable to control her cravings, Emma does the spookiest thing imaginable. She begins to follow him covertly. Antonio notices Emma while monitoring his whereabouts and approaches to say hello, not realizing she's been pursuing him like a crazy person. There, Antonio explains that he has traveled to San Remo to inspect the location of his and Eduardo's upcoming restaurant. Emma requests to go to his restaurant with him. Emma goes with Antonio, forgetting about her daughter and the existence of her art exhibition. Their secret affair begins with a kiss that they both initiate as soon as they enter. Afterwards, they mix at his home in the hills above the city. Eduardo Jr. struggles in London as his father and other family members try to sell the family business they inherited from Eduardo Sr. to foreign investors in the midst of Eduardo Sr.'s passing. Eduardo makes every effort to remain in opposition, but because his father is winning, he becomes frustrated. Desperate, Eduardo chooses to meet up with Antonio, his friend, not realizing that Antonio is also cheating on him. Eduardo indicates that they will soon open their ideal restaurant in San Remo by bringing along all of the official paperwork for their establishment. In order to find buyers to sell the business to, Eduardo assigns Antonio the task of catering a second party that was scheduled to take place in their home while they talk about their plans. Eduardo does everything in his power to persuade the buyers not to buy it when they meet with the Recchi family, but since everyone in the family votes to sell, Eduardo loses the battle, he was fighting by himself from the start. After that, Eduardo goes to see his sister to discuss the company's future and expresses his disagreement with the family's decision to sell the company. Elisabetta even advises him to put his restaurant first and to stop obsessing over keeping his company. Elisabetta and all the others are certain that the money they will receive from the sale of their business will keep them from going bankrupt. Eduardo wanted to maintain the status quo, but his money-hungry father made sure that wasn't the case. Emma spends the day with Antonio during her second trip to San Remo, pretending to be talking about the menu for the formal dinner she will throw for the foreign investors who are purchasing the Recchi family business. Emma describes to Antonio how Tancredi got to know her while on a treasure hunt for artwork in Russia. Emma's blonde hair, a long lock of which falls to the terrace unnoticed, is cut by Antonio. Together, they prepare meals, and Emma shows him how to make uka. Both of them don't regret what they're doing because they love to cook. They become energized and intimate with one another after cooking. After failing the meeting in England, Eduardo visits Antonio later that day after discovering a strand of blonde hair and assuming it is his mother's hair color. He disregards it and lets go of the blonde hair strand, preoccupied with his problems. Eduardo, who was innocent, was unable to detect the betrayal in the hair strand. Eva and Eduardo Jr. are overheard talking on the evening of the investor's dinner at the Recchi Villa, and it is revealed that she is expecting his child. Antonio gets Uka ready. Eduardo knows right away that his mother is having an affair with Antonio when he sees this dish being served. Enraged, he storms from the dinner table. Emma tries to talk to him as she follows him outside into the garden and beside the pool. Eduardo stumbles as he tries to avoid Emma's reaching hand, hits his head on the stone border around the pool, and falls into it. He passes away in the hospital after suffering a cerebral hemorrhage. After the funeral, Tancredi tries to comfort Emma at the cemetery. She confesses to him her love for Antonio. In response, he says, you don't exist. Emma hastily returns home, gets dressed, and has her housekeeper assist her in packing her belongings for her departure. Her daughter, who seems to understand her mother's desire to follow her heart, gives her a knowing glance before she leaves. Eva, who hasn't received much attention from Eduardo's family since his passing, calls out to Eduardo's grandparents and siblings while clutching her stomach, displaying her pregnancy. Emma is gone when the family members turn to face the foyer where she was standing. Emma and Antonio are seen cuddling up in a cave during the closing credits, suggesting that Emma is leaving the comforts of her life to live with someone who understands her. However, Antonio has battled his feelings of guilt over dating his friend's mother who passed away. Here, this film ends. To watch more awesome and thought-provoking movie recaps, please subscribe to Film Guy Recaps. Don't forget to like this video and tell us in the comments which movie you want to see next. Goodbye for now.